2018 Nissan Rogue. Nissan's 2018 Rogue is a sprightly, affordable SUV that has the option of the company's Pro Pilot Assist driving system. It's the first Nissan vehicle to offer the program, which will also be available in the 2018 LEAF. That means it's one of the least expensive SUVs on the market with adaptive cruise control, steering assist, braking assist and warnings for lane straying, rear cross traffic and pedestrian detection. Too bad the package doesn't work better. The Rogue is Nissan's best-selling vehicle in America. More than 300,000 have been sold this year, which the company says makes it the number two non-truck vehicle in the country this year, behind Toyota's RAV4 but ahead of Honda's CR-V. Like Nissan's Juke, the Rogue is half not as visible on the streets as the Honda CR-V or the Toyota RA loved by its owners, who seem to be proud to drive something that's not made by either of the leading Japanese car companies. The entry-level Rogue comes standard with a 2.5-liter four-cylinder gasoline engine that makes 170 horsepower and 175 pound-feet of torque. It's made it to available all-wheel drive and Instronic continuously variable transmission. Also standard are traction control, automatic emergency braking, rear cross-traffic warning, hill start assist, LED headlights, a Surrey Eyes free voice command system, 4 cup holders and 4 bottle holders. It seats 5 and has 70 cubic feet of cargo capacity with the back seats folded down, and a maximum towing capacity of 1,000 pounds. In other words, it's a capable mid-sized SUV, especially at the base price of $25,380. The Rogue Sport, which emits many of those features, is even more of a bargain, starting at $22,380. The SL trim line I drove was a four-wheel drive version. Powered by the same 2.5-liter gasoline engine, with the same to work and horsepower numbers, it felt like a friendly family mover with more than enough beans to manage the freeway and the steep hills in my neighborhood. The all-wheel drive system gave the Rogue an nimble, sure-footed feel, and may have limited some of the therapy, top-heavy sensation that SUVs often have. The passenger space was roomy and comfortable, and on the SL model featured leather-clad seats that, up front, were heated. The rest of the interior felt a bit plastic, and made me wonder about its durability. But everything about the driver's cockpit was reassuringly close at hand and easy to operate. Most important, though, the SLAWD trim line also came with Nissan's Pro Pilot. This was my first opportunity to test the system, and I was eager to hop on the highway and give it a go. The system engages simply, with the push of two buttons on the steering column, turn Pro Pilot on, find a speed you like, and press set. Pro Pilot functions like a smart, adaptive cruise control. It will maintain freeway speed and keep a safe distance between other cars, as on most similar systems but it will also do most of the steering, asking only that the driver's hands be on the wheel at all times and nudge the steering periodically, when prompted, so the system knows the driver is alert.